Hello everyone. Welcome back to Win Cuisines. Today in this episode I'll show you how to make pinwheel cookies. This is my version of pinwheel cookies. Basically this is a sugar cookie recipe which is raw to a pinwheel shape with two colors and raw with color sprinkles before baking. This is usually kids favorite cookie so follow along and I'll show you how to do this. We'll start by beating two sticks of butter which is uh, 226 grams or one cup of butter. I'm using unsalted butter here. So we'll beat this until it's creamy. To this I'll be adding two cups of white sugar, granulated white sugar. Now let's beat these two together until the butter and the sugar as well combined. Today I'm using egg beater to make this cookie. If you don't have an egg beater, you can use a whisk or even a spatula will work as well or if you have a stand mixer you can use that as well so here are butter and sugar as well combined to this i'll be adding half teaspoon of uh, salt like i said i'm using unsalted butter here that's why i'm adding salt to this if your butter is salted i would leave that out now let's add a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract Let's mix all these together. To this we'll add one egg and we'll beat all these together. Okay, so here our mixture is creamy now. To this we'll add 3 cups of all purpose flour. Now we'll combine everything with a spatula. So while combining this with a spatula, if you feel your dough is very dry, what you can do is you can add 1 tablespoon of milk or 1 or 2 tablespoon of milk accordingly and mix it. I'm not using any milk here but if you feel your dough is very dry you can add milk. Continue mixing everything together and make a dough. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to divide the dough into two equal portions. Take one portion and uh, cover this in a plastic wrap and keep it separate. To the other portion, I'll be adding half teaspoon of blue food color. Now we'll mix everything so that the color is evenly distributed in the entire dough. Today I'm using Wilton teal color here but you can use any color according to your preference like red or green to look more Christmassy. Just for a change I'm using teal today. This is mixed well and a blue dough is ready and cover this with a plastic wrap. Okay, so here we have a white dough and a blue dough and I'm going to keep these two in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So these were chilling in the fridge for half an hour now. I'll place this dough on a wax paper and I'll cover with another wax paper and we will roll to a square shape.
We'll do the same with our blue dough as well. We'll place this on our wax paper, then we'll cover this with another wax paper, then we'll roll this to a square shape. Next what you need to do is, place this white dough over the blue dough, like how I'm doing here. Now carefully roll this to form a lobe, like so. While rolling, make sure to roll this as tight as possible because otherwise you will end up having a big hole in the middle. After that, wrap this cookie dough in a plastic wrap and keep in fridge for 10 to 15 minutes or maximum 30 minutes. So here my dough was in the fridge for 30 minutes. Now we'll do the fun part. That is covering our cookie dough with colored sprinkles or Christmas sprinkles to look Christmassy. For that, spread the Christmas sprinkles or colored sprinkles on the cookie dough or roll the dough over the sprinkles and pat on it to stick properly. When you do this way, suppose if your sprinkles are not sticking on the dough, what you can do is take some melted butter, brush on the cookie dough and then roll in these sprinkles. In that way, you can make sure the sprinkles will definitely stick on the dough. Here I am not brushing any butter. Without butter, my sprinkles are getting stick to the dough. Now again I'm going to roll this uh, with a plastic wrap and keep in fridge for 5 to 10 minutes. Our log of cookie dough was chilling in the fridge and now we will cut this to even thickness. You can see the beautiful pinwheel design. Here I'm slicing my cookie dough to even thickness. As you can see, the sprinkles are well coated on the cookie dough. Place these on a baking tray which is lined with a parchment paper and sprayed with a non-stick spray. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit which is 180 degrees Celsius and bake these for 12 to 13 minutes. So here we have our lovely pinwheel cookies which is perfectly baked. Kids will love these cookies. Try making these cookies during this Christmas season. I hope you enjoyed spending time with me. I'll be back with another great recipe. Until then, you all take care and God bless.